Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna check out the amazing new 14 by eight aluminum compressor series snare drum from Sona. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with Sona, and that's because in my opinion, they really are the best sounding drums anywhere in the world. And I think as a musician, it's really important that you have a sound in mind that you're constantly trying to get out of your instrument. It's part of what makes you sound like you. And for me, when I play a Sona drum, the sound that comes out of that drum is the sound I have in my head. So to me, Sona is as much a part of my musical identity as my technique and what I choose to play. Now, the compressor series is made up of steel, brass, and aluminum models in a variety of different sizes. The biggest one of the bunch is this 14 by 8 aluminum shell. These are premium professional Sona drums, but at a price that's much more affordable than you might expect from such a boutique brand. The aluminum shell here is two millimeters thick, which is actually a little bit thicker than you might be used to with an aluminum snare drum. What that does is it creates a real thickness and weight to the tone, as well as reducing the overtones just a touch. Now, it's still a very open and resonant drum, and this is also partly because it ships with 2.3 millimeter power hoops. Triple flanged hoops tend to allow the drum to breathe and be a little bit more open than something like a die cast hoop. I think it's the perfect pairing with this drum. Another thing that separates this snare drum from other aluminum snares you may have played in the past is this one stays in tune. Now that's because this snare features Sona's TuneSafe lugs. Their TuneSafe technology is basically a rubber insert inside the lug that grips the tension rod regardless of whether it's tuned really low or really high, even if you've got someone like me beating it like a caveman. Now, one of the things that makes Sona sound so special is their OSM, which is Optimum Shell Measurement. Now, really what that means is undersized shells. Sona have been doing this for years, and even though it's not secret, it seems to be something that people aren't really that aware of. Basically, a normal drum, a 10 inch tom would be 10 inches from bearing edge to bearing edge. A Sona drum, a 10 inch tom would be more like nine and three quarter inches. It stops the bearing edge of the drum hitting the collar of the drum head like a normal drum would. Instead, because it's an undersized shell, the bearing edge is slightly narrower, which means it hits the flat part of the drum head. So the drum head will seat perfectly before there's even any tension on it. So with a Sona drum, if you get it finger tight, it already sounds good and can be played there. Because of that, the tuning range on Sona drums is absolutely through the roof, and that's no exception with this snare drum. You can tune it really flat and dead to the point there's some wrinkles in the head, and you can tune it all the way up to the point where it's like a power piccolo, and it still retains tone. Another thing about this drum that really, really blew me away was the sensitivity and the dynamic range. The most quiet, whispering ghost notes came through to the snare bed with absolute clarity, all the way up to the most powerful rim shots. Everything retained tone, the drum didn't choke out, it just sounded full and rich and everything that you want this snare drum to be. If I had to describe the sound of this snare drum, I would say powerful, sensitive, and full bodied. The snare drum also ships with a Remo coated ambassador on top, which is like the industry standard batter head for snare drums. Now in this demo, I'm gonna show you it played on its own first at a variety of different tuning ranges. Then I'm gonna show you it wide open with no dampening, which is my preference for drums. And then with multiple stages of dampening using the Sona Gavin Harrison dampening rings from the Protein Snare. And then using a cutout Remo Ambassador for complete like dead dampening. And then more importantly, I'm gonna show you this snare with a variety of different backing tracks. So you can hear how this drum sounds in the context of some music. This snare can be used in any musical setting. Everything from jazz to heavy metal, it just works.
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get to see more content with this drum and others. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you thought of this drum and which of the compressor snares you're most excited to check out. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one.